everyone and welcome back to the high-low trailer uh, this afternoon here I'm working on the lights uh, if you remember some of the lights work some of them don't and uh, when I was playing around with grounding them I can get them to work if I reground them so there was even a comment and somebody said that on their trailer they had to reground every single light and I suppose since this trailer is 31 years old those screws get kind of uh, corroded so you can see that screw right back in there. I pulled one out over on the left, got a new screw because the older one was just uh, kind of looked rusty and rotten and put a new screw when I went when I screwed it in. I had this light switched on already and it just came right on when I ran the screw in there. So now I'm going to try it on the other side and hopefully I can get these to work. The thing is I can't get my screw gun in there because of this dome thing and the reason why this is here goes up inside it's because when the high-low trailer comes down it comes down so far that the actual sink stuff fits up inside there so I'm gonna pull that little whatever you want to call it out and then I think I'll be able to maneuver around in there and get those old screws out I mean about how rusty these things are or corroded or whatever it's just probably not getting a good junction between there and not getting a good ground then you can see right here here's the ground if I take I've got a um, jumper cables and it's just hooked to the actual electric box because that's grounded good but right away the light comes on so I'm just going to replace it with a brand new screw. That worked that time too. I think now that every single light in the high-low trailer works.
went up on top and I put caulking around the vents where it looked like it needed it and checked all the windows and they're looking good. I had to add some around there where I thought it might leak. I, I haven't, don't see any leaks, but I always like to touch that up. So actually this thing is a mess. There's a few things to do. I've got a uh, part coming for the toilet where it drips. Um, I've got the city water hookup that I have to figure out how to how to fix that where it leaks and otherwise except for cleaning this thing up it's just about ready to be used some of the stuff like the toilet piece and everything I think that's coming in tomorrow or maybe the next day so as soon as that comes in or if I'm out here cleaning this place up I'll start filming again well, I just got back a couple hours ago from a few days up at the tent and while I was gone some of the stuff that I ordered came in so now I'm back out here on the high low that part that was leaking on the toilet that came in I had to get, uh, for the air conditioner, this just crumbles in your hand, this uh, filter. And I didn't measure it, I just got one that's, uh, that's actually a little bit bigger. I can just cut it down and put a piece in there and I'll have enough for another one at another time. I ordered some more of these LED lights. These are the other ones that I got. Let's see, let's take a look at one of those. These right here are the ones I ordered before and they're not very bright. These are supposed to be quite a bit brighter. So here's the old one, and it's that bright. And here's the new one. I don't know, I think that's brighter. It's really kind of deceiving when you try to buy them online. I'm not used to buying the LED lights, and I was amazed you really have to look at the lumens and see what, you know, how much is a 60 watt bulb, etc. So anyway, I think these will be brighter. So there's the old one on the left and the new one on the right, and that was not easy to get out. There's not much room. It's supposed to be easier if you pulled the whole toilet, but anyway, I got it out and I get this new one put in. Well, I have the two hoses hooked up to it, but they sent out new screws for it. The new ones are the black ones, but they have such a coarse thread on it, which I'm sure it just goes into plastic and hold it, but I think I'm going to use the old ones because I would think it already has some threads in there, so why screw them up? Well, that seemed to fix that. I have no more leak there. I still have to fix that leak and I'm not excited about that one at all. I'm back out here another day and I think it's time to at least pull these screws and pull this out and try to see what it is I need to do to replace or fix this water leak on the main city water hookup.
Well, looking at this here, this has just had me stumped for so long. I mean, everything is like pecs or something, which I don't. It's supposed to be super easy, but I've never done that. But I'm wondering, every one of these that I've seen, the new ones, although they're not this shape, um, they just screw in. And I was just looking right here, and that almost looks like that Teflon tape. And I'm wondering if all my head scratching here is as simple as all this does is screws on here. So if we look at this side, remember we tried before that O-ring and I, I took that out and even put in a oh, like a regular hose type one and I still leak somewhere back in here and it looks like looking at the back of this it has one of those back, I don't know, back flush type valve so the water can't go back out into the hose. I think I'll go do a search. I doubt that I can get this same piece anymore. The, like I said before, I can get a lot of these. I just have to cut the hole bigger, which I don't have any problem doing. It's just that if I could find the exact same one, it would have been nice. Okay, well this is the closest thing I can find. It's partially square. A lot of them are just round or else they're square, but they're five or seven inches by seven inches and I have to do a new cutout. I'm just hoping that the back side of this, that's the correct fitting. And I'm just gonna have to hope it is. Looking at most of them, they all say it's a half inch. So hopefully that's what I need. And if I order this within the next 25 minutes, I can get it uh, not tomorrow, but the following day. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up, come back in a couple days here and we'll start up again with, it might be one of the final ones, I'll get that water put in there I need to get things cleaned up I need to get the gas tanks filled but I should show you one thing quick I just wanted to show you quick it's been about 32 hours or so since I had the the toilet thing put in there and I remember in one of the comments somebody said to do myself a favor and put in all new seals but at that time when I did the video I had already by the time I read the comments I had already ordered the part so I didn't bother doing it but I'm happy anyway that after you know, 32 hours the toilet is still holding water so at least that seal it's dropped down maybe a half inch but that's not bad for that many hours so hopefully I won't have to do anything with it for a while thanks a lot for watching everybody I will see you guys on the next video